Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So how is everybody doing today? I hope everybody is staying well and I hope everybody's staying safe. Um, so today I have some new yarn that Hobie and had. Um, I, there's not a lot in the box. I don't think so. I don't, I don't think. Um, and because um, I've had it here for a few days, I haven't op opened it. And um, but what I can remember, it was some of their new yarns and maybe a couple old ones that I never tried before. But you guys want to open it up and check it out? Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. Yes, I do have a tutorial for this hat. I, for some reason, I misplaced my black hat that I wear all the time. My favorite one. I can't find it anywhere. I'll find it eventually. But yes, I do have a tutorial for this. Um, if you look under my playlist, under hats, you'll see it. I don't know exactly what number it is. So I couldn't tell you, but it, you'll see it. Anyways, let's open up this box from Hobium. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I always say I'm your favorite yarn junkie. I like to buy the yarn, show you the new yarns, look at the new yarns. And then I like to give them away to, to my followers. It's so much fun. And check out my crochet tutorials. I have like 734 to date. All right, okay. Now, if you're not familiar with Hobium, Hobium is based in Turkey, and um, so you have to purchase overseas. They have a uh, pretty fast shipping, and if you spend 150 dollars or more, you get free shipping. That's to the U.S. I'm going to be referring to the U.S. when I say prices and whatnot because. Um, that's where I'm from. Um, I don't know for certain uh, what the shipping rates are if you don't get free shipping. Um, because I always, when I buy from home, I always buy enough to get free shipping. Anyway, so you get a bag, which I have, <laughs> I have tons of these because I like Hobium. Um, I buy a lot from them. They're one of my favorite online stores. Uh, as far as not, not in the States, you know, um, ones that you can buy from outside of the states oh i see some pretty yarn in here okay now they don't send, send an invoice so i'll have to look up the prices for you just a second okay i bring up their website and they have more new yarn again hobium busting out the new yarns that i don't have in this box that they didn't have when i bought this stuff so i always try to keep everybody up to date on the new yarns but sometimes Yarn companies put out so much yarn that I just can't keep up. And that's kind of what's happening now. I think they're putting out winter yarns. I have no idea. But this is, feel it feels nice from the bag. But, you know, it's still in a bag. So, we'll see. Now, this was new. And I was actually pretty excited to get it. Ah, let's open it up. Let's look at it. Let's open it up and look at it. Okay. So, this is... They're Madame um, Trico Paris. I guess that's how you say it. I'm not sure. Trend cake. Now, I think, if I remember, they had 12 or 13 different colors. I, I didn't get them all, but... It has a little bit of a shine on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. That camera's picking up just about true to colors on this one. But yeah, it does have a little bit of shine. Not much though. The feel of it is that of probably Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. Um, it's a so nice soft, softer acrylic uh, yarn. So it is a 100% acrylic. There's 394 yards slash 360 meters per cake. Um, it's 200 grams or 3.5 ounces made in turkey now they classify this as a lightweight three i disagree and i say that it's a four weight and i think many of you would probably agree with me on that is not a lightweight three you let me know in the comments that's a four weight i'm pretty most definitely could bet anything on that <laughs> you guys will probably agree with me but anyways it's very pretty so it kind of reminds me of a caron cake the originals but i know their originals have wool in them 
but as far I think that's about the yardage they have in their care in the Carolina picks if I'm not mistaken I could be you guys can correct me also um, but it's a self striping so it would be easy to color control if you are big on color control which I am and I do have a video on how to color control if you want to look that up on my channel so yes this is very nice so these are six dollars and seventy cents Per cake and that's for 394 almost 400 yards of a of a fine soft filling you know scarfable feels just fine I'd make my daughter dress or sweater anything out of it um, acrylic 100% acrylic four weight self striping yarn um, 610 and then if you buy them by the pack you get 10% off like and they come in a three pack so I got 10% off each cake because I bought in the three pack, which made them six dollars and three cents a piece. I don't think that's a bad deal, especially if you can save up enough to get free shipping. These are pretty nice. I might get some more colors. I do notice though that it isn't extremely tightly uh, spun. It could be some splitting, but I can't say for certain because I'm not working with it. But it doesn't appear to be spun too extremely tight. See that? Why could this be so? It looks like some of it's spun tighter than others. I don't know. It's nice though. I would buy it again. So the color I have in my hand is color 626. That's the pretty pinks and mauves and whites. Evelyn Colors. That's my daughter, Evelyn Rose. In case you guys don't know, I usually just call her Rose. I did get a couple more colors that I thought that intrigued my interest. I got this. This one is very, very pretty. I had no idea that it had uh, uh, brown in it, actually. I didn't even notice it in the picture, but this is gorgeous. That is pretty. So you got your black, and it's got some gray, a little bit of grays mixed in it. And then you got your light, medium gray, and then it's got a brown mixed with a little bit of the red. That's like a dark, uh, dark red. And then you got more of a orangish red kind of on it. More red than orange, but still a little bit orangish. That's a gorgeous one. Uh, that one is very pretty. So. I like that a lot. I like the I like the brown in it. It's interesting. This one's really pretty. You know, I might make something out of this tonight. I'm gonna be watching something on TV tonight. I've been waiting for it for a while. Maybe I'll make a scarf and a hat out of this tonight. But anyway, so this one's really pretty. I like it. I'm excited about this one. This one's color six or six two seven. Very very pretty. So that's the pretty prettiest. But wait, I got other colors. This one's really pretty too. They have. They have quite a few pretty colors. Um, I bought four of the colors they had. This one's really pretty. Look at that one. So you got your blue. I don't know what color of blue you'd call that. People would call that different colors of blue. Turquoise maybe. I don't know. And then you got like an avocado. Uh, olive color right here. And then you got more of a lime lime outside of a lime i try to describe it the best i can i don't know and then you got more of a this is like a brownish green color more brown than green and then you got a real dark teal real dark teal blue it's not i mean and then you go then it goes back to the regular color blue that one's very very pretty too i like all the colors in that and this one is color number 394 pretty so that one will probably go in a giveaway even though i do like it i do want to keep that red one and i want to keep that pink one this one i like because it's brown brown's my favorite color oh that's pretty too pretty 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 they are also pretty i say that about all the yarn though don't they all the time you know like you always do that so this is this one so it's got like caramel color there. Oh, well, I guess we'll start with this one. It's got this is like a uh, off white. It's not a bright white. Um, it, this is like a it's a it's a brownish. 
it's brown. It's brown. I don't know what color brown you'd call it. And then a gray, grayish brown. And then it's got like a coffee mocha orange color. I don't know how you would explain that. It's brown, but kind of orange too. Kind of reminds me like coffee. I don't know. I don't know. Then it goes to a lighter brown and then back to the cream. But anyways, again, very pretty. The color number on, on this one is um, 624. You guys probably think I'm crazy trying to describe the colors. I try to imagine what like food or object or drink that it reminds me of when I see it. So maybe you, I could give you guys a better example um, of what they look like. But my camera's showing up pretty true to color. Um, pretty close. It might be a bit darker. I don't want it to show up, but not much. It's pretty close. It's very pretty. I like that one too. I like it. Okay, so that's all of them I got. Oh, you always get a free pencil from Hobium. I thought these were rocks inside, but someone told me they're seeds. I don't know what they grow, but I love to garden. Um, it's my favorite hobby. I love it more than crochet. Um, so I'm going to plant them and I'll let you guys know what they sprout. <laughs> no, I'm interested to know. Okay, so now I got some of their new yarn. This is another new yarn here. I don't know nothing about it. Let's see. It is their, oh, it's Himalaya. Himalaya Everyday Lux. Everyday Baby Lux. Colors. Okay, so... I, I think they have a Himalaya Everyday Baby Lux. I don't know if they do or not. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, Himalaya. It's a very nice brand of yarn. It's a very, it's one of Hoeyam's nicer brands that they carry. Actually, they carry quite, quite a few nice brands um, uh, from Hoeyam. Some of their nicer brands are like uh, Himalaya Atrophil. The Madame uh, Tree Coat's nice. And then uh, Rowan is another very, very nice one. That might be the nicest one they carry is the Rowan. Um, but anyways, Himalaya is also a very nice brand too. So, Himalaya Anti-Peeling. It's very soft. Everyday Baby Lux Colors. 100% anti-peeling. 100 grams, 250 meters, 273 yards per ball. They classify it as a lightweight three. I would agree on this one. I think that's a lightweight three. It's probably on the thinner side of a lightweight three. Kind of like uh regular mandalas it's three weight but it's like a super thin three weight that's what i would call this this is a kind of a thinner three weight but yeah it's still it's still a three weight they probably they have it classified correctly so it, it does say that you can uh, wash it and dry it and i did forget to tell you that information on here on these it says that you can wash and don't dry which i don't understand why because it's acrylic but whatever that's the instructions on that one so, 273 yards. May, this is uh, made in Turkey, if I can remember right. Oh, it makes a design. Look at that. I always find, though, that yarns that make design work better for knitters. And I don't knit at all. But it doesn't mean you still can't use it. Um, you still can. I just think... I have trouble getting designs to come out whenever I crochet. Maybe I don't do it right. Maybe it just, I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, it's very pretty. This will be something I would, will put a giveaway in a giveaway. But it's very soft. It's very pretty. It does have a bit of a shine to it. So this one is $5.30 a ball. That's for 273 yards of a lightweight three, anti-peeling, 100% acrylic. Um, machine washable and dryable and it does make the designs and if you buy the five pack you'll get 10 percent off of that so price wise i don't think that's too bad considering that the himalaya is a pretty good brand um and uh their baby yarns are uh certified and tested uh with for all them standards that are okay for a baby so uh, the color i have here is called nothing it's numbered seven one four two zero so i got that um oh five of those like i don't really like working with thinner yarns but i still like to get them and show people the uh, new color the new yarns in case everybody's interested that's nice you know if i liked thinner yarns i if i liked thinner yarns and it didn't 
have a pattern development if it was self-driving i would buy it because the yarn itself is nice but that that would probably go in a giveaway okay here's another new one this is i can't even keep up with their new ones okay i didn't even get all their new ones what the heck's going on i thought i did okay oh yeah dad this looks bigger on the screen than it does here. Okay, this is the Madame Tr Traco Paris. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Probably not. But this is Madame Cotton Multi Colors. So it feels, uh, let's see. It's scar definitely scarpable. It feels like it's a soft 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, 306 yards. It's a 49 cotton, 51 acrylic blend. So it's a nice soft um, acrylic cotton blend. Um, Hobie has some nice soft acrylic cotton blends. You know, I get a, a lot of them. A lot of their uh, blends are, or cotton acrylic blends are nice and soft. And this is a three-way also. Again, it's the thinner side of a three, but it's still a three. Nice. It's very pretty. Uh, that's kind of what it looks like knitted up, I guess, crochet-wise. It just looks like it's going to be a short, stri short variegated uh, yarn. But yeah, it's nice. I like it. Definitely scarpable. Sorry about my dog. His name's Clark, and he's a bloodhound. This is color 447, and it is made in Turkey. No, no, it's not. It's made in Egypt. This is made in Egypt. So, okay. Produced with turkey fiber made in Egypt. Awesome. And you can wash it and it says don't dry. Probably because the cotton might shrink. I don't know. Or peel. But anyways, that's what it looks like. And it is $4.05 a ball. Or if you buy the five pack, you get... 10% off, which would make it under three or under four dollars. So that's that one. I don't have much left in the box. I don't have much left in the box. Okay, I got this stuff. I don't know what it is, and it's not even new. It's just something that I don't think I ever seen on Hobium before. I love wool. Wool's my favorite yarn. Now this is smells. The whiff of wool is coming at me right now. I love the smell of wool. This is 100 grams or 65 meters, 3.53 ounces or 71 yards of 100% Australian wool. Gazelle Pure Wool. Gazelle is another good brand or Gazelle, however you want to say it, that Hobium carries. I love it. It is Oh, it smells like pure wool to me. Australian pure wool. I don't... I'm going to be keeping this, so... Me smelling it's okay. Um, now, this is not uh, scarfable. This would be great for, like, a cardigan or a sweater that you would wear a shirt underneath of it. Because it is... Some wools aren't itchy uh, or scratchy. This one feels like it could be a little bit scratchy. I mean, not bad, but over time wearing it, you could probably feel it not feeling good after a while. So a hat or, you know, something you're going to wear, something underneath it. I like it. Hand wash, of course. Um, mach no, or hand wash and lay flat. 73 or 71 yards of this stuff. I love it. And I don't think that it was, uh, if I remember... So, 743, I know that probably does sound like a lot, um, but you do get 10% off if you buy the five pack, which I did, so it made it 669 each for five of them. That's pretty, I don't know what I'll make with it, but I'm going to keep it. I like it a lot. Brown's my favorite color. It's a gorgeous color of chocolate brown. Minds me of a Hershey bar, and I like a good Hershey bar with almonds those are the best but i like the regular ones too this is something i've never had before either but apparently they have had it now they have had a lot they had a lot of cool colors in this this is something else i'm going to keep 
Um, I'm going to make something for my cat out of it. Anyways, um, maybe. I don't know what. She's wearing kind of interesting. I don't know. Anyways, they had a lot of cool colors, and I had a hard time deciding. This feels similar to that one. Maybe just a little bit softer. Um, I probably wouldn't mind wearing a cowl out of this one. Actually, I wouldn't. It wouldn't be as bad as that one. Let's read about it. So, this is this is their Gazal Marine. I think she's wearing it's kind of weird. It, it's cool, but weird. I don't I don't know if I would. That's not what I would do with it. But it says one ball is enough to make a scarf. Ninety-seven percent Australian wool. Although it is Australian wool, like that one. That one's roving style. This is this is roving too, but it's all colors spun together. I don't know. It just makes it feel a little softer. I mean, not a lot softer, but it's still, I would probably still wear something. It's so pretty. It doesn't matter. I'm not wearing anything out of it. Like I said, I'll probably make something for my cat out of it. I had in, intentions on making something out of my cat. Uh, making something out of my cat. Making something for my cat out of it. Anyways, it's... Uh, 97% Australian wool, 3% elastin, hand wash, lay flat, made in Turkey. Um, the color is 5514. I had, like I said, I had a hard time deciding what color I wanted on this because there's not a lot, a lot of yardage in here. Um, and I believe it was more money. I don't know if it was or not, but then, I'm sorry, I have to look it up. Yes, it was. It was more money than the other one. So, it was $12.77, or 76 cents for one of these, and there are 16.4 <laughs> 4 yards, but it's, it's like a bulky seven. It's like really thick seven. So, I got a three-pack three pack and so I got them for 11.48 that doesn't make it much better does it I probably overpaid for that I don't really know what an Australian wool goes for but they have some really cool colors and I think like I said I don't know what I'll do with it but I won't I'll be keeping this for myself as I will that other wool some of this other stuff is going to go in a giveaway but this is really really it's so intriguing to me of the things that I could make with this. I thought about making a cat bed. That was my intentions when I bought it. But now I'm thinking, I don't know. It's just intriguing and it seems like a lot of cool things could be made out of it. I'd like to get more colors of it, but unfortunately it's kind of expensive. So I don't know if I'll do that. Okay, I got one more thing in here. It's not new, but it is a new color. Uh, perhaps you guys have seen it. I know you probably have. I opened it many, many times if you watch my channel. Gazelle Rock and Roll. I got this pretty teal, but it's striped. Isn't that a beauty? This stuff is so pretty. It's so shiny. It's so soft. I have a beautiful red shawl out of my channel. I made out of a solid red uh, Gazelle Rock and Roll. I might have a couple, one more thing made out of I can't remember. I have a lot of tutorials. But anyways, the Gazal Rock, Rock and Roll is uh, 50 grams or 125 yards per ball. And I say it's a medium weight number four. It says to hand wash and lay flat to dry. It's 21 acrylic, 70 polyamide, and 9% Lena Marino. It's very, very pretty. Uh, I have bought it many times. Gave it away and giveaways many times. Have made things out of it. It's $2.83 a ball. Or if you buy the 10 pack, it's $2.55 a ball. But you got to buy the whole 10 pack. That's a beaut. I've had the solid teal. I've just never had the striped one. It's new to Hobium. So that's it. This will probably get given away too. More than likely. I just like to buy them and show them and then give them away. It's more fun. 
I get, you know, I do the unboxings. I get to look at the yarn, check it out, keep a couple, and then bless others with it. That's what I enjoy doing on my channel. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, I would say my top favorites are probably those wools because I'm a wool, I am a big wool fan and that Australian wool is super cool. But um, I really do like this black and uh, brown and gray and red one. That's This is really pretty. I'm going to do something with this one soon. Um, the rest, other than this, will probably be put in giveaway sometime. But that's that's it. I hope you enjoyed my unboxing. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more yarn talk. I love to talk yarn. I could talk yarn all day. I have no one to talk yarn with here. So I talk it with you guys. Um, so, like I said, I buy the new yarns or from new companies and unbox it and look at it. Pick out a couple to keep to make things with. Give the rest away and giveaways on my channel or on Instagram or on Facebook. And, and make tutorials out of some of them and all kinds of fun stuff. So don't forget to subscribe. Tell your friends. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram if you haven't already. And remember, I always appreciate you guys watching my video. Videos, I love you. Bye. I love all you guys. And I want you guys to stay safe. And I'll see you on my next video. Let me know in the comments what was your favorite out of all this. I'm going with the Australian wool. Both of them. They're both my favorites. What's yours? Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.